We're here in the city of Madonna this morning, Tree City USA by the Arbor Day Foundation. And we're going to talk about the beauty and importance of trees and exactly what an arboretum is. If you're not familiar, an arboretum is an outdoor museum of woody plants and trees. It's actually a collection. So you get to collect different types and species of trees to help people better understand their benefits and how they complement nature and the world and make our air cleaner, our water cleaner, and our communities healthier. So part of Arbor Day is the celebration of planting trees and we have a brand new tree seedling here. This is a swamp white oak. This is a very large growing tree. Lots of different species of trees, so you want to make sure that this has lots of room in your yard to grow and prosper. Try to plant it away from the house, plant it away from utility lines. Make sure you've located all the utilities and anything that could be in the way below ground so the tree has a great opportunity to grow into a large, beautiful, mature canopy tree someday. So I'm going to teach you um, how to work with the root system and make sure that it's planted correctly in the landscape. So once you've found a good spot in the landscape, um, you're going to want to prepare the soil. So scrape away the mulch, scrape away the soil. You want to prepare a site that's large enough um, at the correct depth to house the tree and all of its roots. So we'll measure. We've got a handy soil knife here that helps measure um, the length of the root system, which will give us an idea of how deep we need to dig. The other thing you're going to want to do is to start to peel back all these fibrous roots from how this tree's been grown in the container and spread out those roots so that they have a great chance to spread out and get established in the landscape. So we're just going to tease out all these roots and it may seem a little bit rough at first, but it's actually given the tree a really good opportunity to grow and uh, have a great start to its new life and new home. So do this all the way up and down. You can see there's some woody roots that have started to form too. These fibrous roots are the small roots that help turn into those larger woody roots. So now that we've had this root system spread out, we're going to start to dig. And we'll get all the soil nice and it's tilled up so any bigger chunks we're going to want to break up and spread out and around. We're going to want to find where the roots start to flare out from the trunk. Sometimes this can be a little bit deep, so it might need a little bit more teasing and pulling away from the tree's trunk to find where those roots start to flare out like on a larger tree. Edge this back a little bit more. And then measure. And see if we have enough room here. We don't want to plant the tree too deep. We want the root system to be just at or above grade as it might settle a little bit. And then we'll just slowly fill in, pack in around it. Make sure it's nice and stable in the landscape. All this extra soil will fill in around the side, but we don't want to pile it up on the tree's trunk. We want to get it just enough so it's firm in the ground, filled in around the container itself, and finish it off with some nice mulch. See here, we have a younger oak tree that's probably in the five to 10 year range, so that little seedling will grow very, very quickly if you care for it properly. And here's how our oak tree could look in 10 to 20 years. And this oak's probably about 50 years or more old. Here's a big beautiful tree. This is a catalpa. It, it could be as old as the cemetery, maybe 75 to 100 years old or more. It's been here a very long time. And this oak tree could be at least 100 years old. It's probably seen some really historic things happen here in Medina. Could have seen horse and buggies, to automobiles, to the urbanization of our areas, which makes trees all the more important now. The way that they can capture carbon, improve our air quality, provide wildlife habitat for birds and different mammals, uh, and help with pollinators too. Oaks are one of the most important species to help with pollinator plant pollinators and different insects. Um, probably one of the most biodiverse and important uh, genuses for trees in the urban forest. So have fun with your tree and let's see how big it can grow for you too.